everyone this is Tia's natural soaps and all things pampered of course this is my lupo soap that I mixed up yesterday pretty color it smells heavenly so I'm going to cut this and um, and show you what it looks like okay I had to put my gloves on clean hands but I put my gloves on as always, when I'm working with um, my soaps cutting, I like to go ahead and put on gloves because I will be sending these to, I mean, selling these to people, so we don't want to contaminate them. So what I'm going to do, oh, it smells so good. I'm going to cut this in, in chunks like um, they do, the original people who created this Alupe soap. Again, it's olive oil and laurelberry oil. So here's the cut. Let's see what it looks like in the inside. Woo! I wish you guys can really smell this. It smells so good. Mmm. It smells like earthy. It smells like berry, like a fruit. It smells like a fruit. It smells berry, um, woodsy, a smoky woodsy smell, but it smells so good. I really can't even describe it, but I'm going to cut this in so you can see it. Here's my soap. It's cut into chunks, and I kind of mess this one up. But it's okay, I'll clean that up. But this is the chunk I cut. And then I'm going to cut them in squares again. And then you'll see what they actually really look like. So, let me start cutting. Okay, here's my soap, my Lupe soap. And it's cut into squares. So pretty. I wish, again, you can smell them. So they're cut into squares and off to the drying rack they go. Like I said, that it's not um, the regular soap that does four to five weeks cure. Some people let their soap cure five to six weeks, but four to five weeks are, is fine. Um, but this, I said, it has to cure for at least six months. And then the longer it stays on the shelf, the harder the bar gets so it will lighten up so hopefully if I can remember once it cures in six months to a year I can post another picture to show you the color but thank you for watching goodbye